actually I'll, uh, I'll say this in few words. Huh? It's never easy because I knew in as much as I had a, a program with me and they would do stuff for me, but I knew that 90% I had to, had to be in my positions. So it's never that easy. Like as you said, I did DMAT and I failed and uh, not once, twice. You you failed the second time second even time, more than the first uh, time. More than the first time. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't go that I'm here. Uh, so probably I'll talk about the people who... I, I was talking to a certain uh, student. Uh, he, uh, he just joined the program like uh, some two, three months ago. And this guy, I was trying to take him through some few things here and there. And uh, based on whatever he was telling me, he thinks that the program is going to be there, push everything to, for him. He just sit there and he expects to be on this side. I, I was telling him, hey, look, young man, you have to do more than you think because this is your dream. Yes, this is a company and uh, they're helping you come here and all those things, but this is your dream. And no one probably will carry you to your dream. It's you to push yourself. So my message to those guys that may be on, on the other side and there, you need to be on this side. You have to work yourself, like, be there, be persistent. If you're doing that GMAT, be on it like 100%. GMAT is very helpful, by the way. I'll talk about GMAT, because I have seen, like, Kevin uh, did, uh, did uh, studies through GA the whole time, right? Yeah. So, uh, it, it was easy. I wouldn't say that I... Uh, that uh, fail had an effect, it affected me in some way, especially when I joined uh, the university and I had to probably look for some GAs. Uh, we had a lot of guys who were there and uh, wanted GAs, so the cutoff was like, you have to have passed the GMAT. So it's very important for those guys who are doing GMATs over there, make sure that you ace on that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, encourage guys to just uh, throw up on the GMAT. Now, Pia, on this process, just ensure that in each and every step that you're joining, in each of, probably maybe you're going to get the passport and then you have the passport, the next step is probably pushing for the schools. Make sure that you push each and every step. The guys who are going for the interview, I, I believe uh, uh, the company, in as much as they might want to help, but when it comes to embassy, it's you and the embassy. Yeah. <coughs> I don't, I don't think there is a point where the program probably will intervene because now that's a different entity. So it's you, your confidence, know that. So there are a lot of things that are, are, are involved, but persistence of an individual will make you be on this side. And of course, as I always say, the God man, all through the God, na imekuwa true. You are watching Success with Bob Mweti Show, presented to you by Upstech America. Upstech America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstechamerica.com. Upstech America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential. Yeah, I think for me, Mm, the most challenging part for me, I think, was uh, as you've talked about your the yellow part, <coughs> and uh, as in, I was the first person in the program getting the yellow, and uh, it was not easy because I remember like I did my, uh, I went for my visa interview around uh, towards the end of July, and uh, I was supposed to report to school at in mid January, mid August, I mean, mid August around 18 by 18th of August. And when uh, the interview in Kapatua Yellow, and it was quite, uh, yeah, it was devastating for sure. Yeah, that 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 feeling that you get, as in, it's not quite the same as the pink one, but you're like, huh, what what do I really need to do after this? So uh, the embassy like sent uh, the what they needed from me, and I sent it to them. And for me, I thought like for me sending the embassy what they needed because they needed like additional information on some of the details that I'd given them. So I thought like for me, because I just sent, like they sent me an email and I sent them uh, uh, what the additional details they requested for like immediately. So for me, I thought Ntawatumia, uh, Alafu, the next thing I know that I have, I have the, I have the blue card, that's the, the visa. Again, it's as a, from then it was, it was a challenge because we sent them like the same day and we had to keep like 
calling the embassy and they keep telling us uh, <laughs> when you <laughs> when we are through with your process we'll tell you so <laughs> when you hear that there's nothing you can do about it you can't go to the embassy and tell them like uh hasten up my process or uh, speed up my process you can't do that you just have to wait for them to do their due diligence and then for them to complete it and then I get back to you so it was a constant like feeling of devastation and then you're also hopeful because you're like uh if it was meant to be it will be and like you're also confident in your person and like what you've done and uh, processes in your mind uh, the processes that you've gone through so i was confident in it and uh it was tough because i went through three weeks of it and uh i think after the three weeks i actually uh, reported to school i think like a week later because i was supposed to report to school the day i was supposed to report to school is the day my visa got approved so i had to speed up the process and then get it so it was three weeks for me i know for people who've gotten a yellow after me uh i know like joshua here he got a yellow and he had to wait for a period of like two months but then like you have to <laughs> you can't do you can't do anything about it you just have to wait for the just embassy to, to do their the thing yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and you have to pray exactly you have to pray and believe that you've done and you pray to god uh <laughs> some of these things are not in your hands oh. and it's literally yeah. it's not 100%. in your hands it's totally not in your hands mm. so you just have to pray leave it to the one above and uh it yeah, everything will be good. Yeah, everything will be good. So, yeah. You have been watching Success with Bomwiti Show, brought to you by Upstake America. Come back again next time to learn concepts tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in USA through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to Bob Mweti channel on YouTube and also follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.